Welcome to the Richer Soul Podcast. I'm excited to be back after a bit of a hiatus. You know, sometimes we have to take a step back and and evaluate things and take a look at things. And at the time that I stepped away, you know, there were lots of lots of things going on, um, both good and, and energy taking. So I wanted to, to let the podcast breathe a little bit. So I'm excited to be back and share all kinds of new messages for you. And today I want to talk about a quote that I shared this morning. And it said, everything is going to be OK. This is a page, not the entire book. And I loved that because I think so many times we get caught up in the now and how heavy the now is and what's going on in the now. And it, it's really critical that we understand that now, while now may be really tricky and really take a lot out of us, it is not the end game. Today is not the end game of everything. Tonight is not, or today is not the, the full example of who you are as an individual. Every day is going to be different. No two days are going to be the same. No day is going to be perfect. There may be days that you feel that everything is perfect, and then the next day may be really challenging. But every day is a story, is part of the story that is you. It is a page in the book. It is the page in the chapter. It's not even the full story of everything. So when we think about those moments, how can we get past that? How can we move past the idea that right now is awful and it's going to be forever because I've been in that mentality myself and it's awful. It, suck, it sucks the energy. It sucks the life out of you. But when we realize, when we stop and check ourselves and understand that this isn't forever, that this isn't the permanent end of the story, that is when we take our power back. And so today I want to share a couple of examples of how you can do that and why it's so beneficial to each and every one of us to learn how to turn the page. So the first thing to do when you start feeling that life has gotten too heavy is take a deep breath. Understand that this is temporary, that this pain, the struggle, the frustration is temporary, that something great is on the horizon. And I know it sounds cliche, but it is the it is a mental status and a mental change that works is that when you realize that this is all part of the journey, you know, anything that's great to accomplish doesn't come with some struggle, doesn't come with a little bit of challenge, doesn't come with frustration. It all is part of it. And so once you accept that, once you understand that those moments will happen and that you can be stronger and move past it, even the most dire circumstances, everything is movable. Everything is, is something that's going to teach you, make you stronger, make you more wise for what's coming and make you appreciate what's about to come. Think about if everything that you accomplished was just handed to you. There was no challenge. There was no growth. There was no effort put into it. It wouldn't be as special. Earning things and going through things to get to the top is where the joy comes in. Yes, success feels great. Yes, it feels wonderful to win. Yes, it feels wonderful to close the sale. Yes, it feels wonderful to book the event. But if you don't have an appreciation for what the other side of that feels like, then you diminish the ability to really fully enjoy what's going on and to value what's going on. So it is important to go through these things. It is important to learn that you're going to survive, that you're going to grow, that you're going to be better. And that so when you when you close that deal, when you host that event, when you hoist that trophy, when you do the thing that you're trying to accomplish, it's going to be that much sweeter when you do when you get there. The second thing you can do is find gratitude in something. Be grateful for something. I don't care how small it is, how big it is. Just be grateful for something because so many times when things are not going the way we want them to or when things get frustrating or when we we feel like we're running in place, when you stop, step back and be grateful for what you have and what is going on in your life and what little things are positive, that makes everything else easier. And it's the little steps, the little steps of gratitude help you get a foothold on climbing that mountain, help you move forward and build the momentum to achieve the goal that you're going after. If you just stand in place, frustrated, sad, angry, you know, th those things, it's not going to help you move forward. Even the tiniest step of gratitude, even the tiniest step of positivity moves you in the right direction because you're not going to get anywhere standing still. You're just not. So find that one thing of gratitude that you can latch on to and focus on that. And then the next day, add another thing. And then the next day, add another thing or have an assortment of things that you can be grateful for. And go to those. I don't care if it's the same thing every single day. If it's your health, if it's your family, whatever that is for you, latch onto it and don't let it go. But find pure, honest, sincere gratitude in that thing 
to help you move forward, to help you get unstuck, to pull your feet out of the mental mud and get going on the way to what you're meant to achieve and the greatness you're meant to have. And the final thing is to make sure that you have a support system. I can't emphasize enough how important this is. There, there is, I can go back to every frustrating time in my life, every rut, every funk, everything that I've ever been through. And I have not gotten out of it by myself. It's been trusted friends, family, loved ones, professional help. You can do it, but you don't have to do it alone. You can achieve great things and you can move forward. And you don't always have to do it alone. There's no, there's no badge of honor for saying, hey, I did everything by myself. You're never, ever going to do anything by yourself. Like anything that is fantastic in your life, anything that is, that is monstrous and an achievement, something, somebody helped you along the way. Whether it's a word of encouragement, a note of positivity, some insight on how you can do something a little bit better or different, or some, something that they've learned in the process of what you're trying to accomplish. Or frankly, just the fact that you know that somebody loves you, that somebody thinks of you, that somebody is, is, is in admiration of you, that is proud of you, or that is just there. Sometimes we just need to know that somebody is there. That If we turn to look at our corner after taking a beating in this round, that there is somebody holding the bucket, there is somebody holding the town, there is somebody ready to coach us into the next round. Just knowing that somebody is there makes all the difference in the world. So who are those people? Who are those people for you? I guarantee you, you have at least two or three people that you can go to at any given time. And that is worth its weight in gold because we all are going to need that help. And be that for somebody else too. Make a pact, seriously. Like it sounds somewhat almost like the only thing I can think of is Babysitter's Club, but it's not, it's not like the Babysitter's Club, but it is really all about having that pact with the other individuals by saying, hey, look, I got your back. I know you've got mine. I'm here for you whenever you need something. I'm here to help you through. I'm, help you, I'm here to help you achieve and to get out of the dark times. Just knowing that you have that is everything. So make sure you're tying into these three things to stay focused on moving forward. Because again, whatever you're going through right now is a page, is two pages of the entire story of you. And once you move past that, once you turn those pages and look at the next chapter and look at the next storyline, look at the twist that's about to come, that things brighten up and that they get better, you will achieve greatness. I guarantee it. Because everything that you are going through is, is preparing you for something great. And once you understand that, you take that power back. Once you understand that through your self-management, you can check your emotions and say, hey, wait, I know I'm feeling frustrated, but I'm going to change the tune. I'm going to change the trajectory. I'm going to change the path. And here's how. Once you understand how to check yourself, everything else becomes easier. You stop that downward slide. You stop that rabbit hole of negativity. And you move back onto the path. And you keep moving forward one step at a time. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so thankful. It so feels good to be back. It feels really, really good to be back. And so if there's something that I can help you with, if there is a topic that you're struggling with, if there's something that you need to hear, if there's uh, you know, something that you just want me to chat about, let me know. Drop me a note, rich at richbracken.com. Uh, you can find me on social media at richbracken1 on Instagram and Twitter. But please hit me up. I want to be here to support you. This is a new angle on the podcast and I'm just really excited to share as much positivity as I can. So please share this podcast with as many people as you can because you never know who's going to need a little bit of enrichment and who's going to need to turn the page. Take care. Love you. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.